All right, so a lot of new trailers are coming out. We just got The Dark Knight Rises. Now we got another one. The newest trailer I have to talk about is for The Amazing Spider-Man. It's actually called The Amazing Spider-Man, which is it's accurate, but it's a little weird. I like Spider-Man. It's cleaner. Yes, they're rebooting the Spider-Man story with a brand new franchise. And one of the first things I noticed in this trailer is really interesting to me because it shows Peter Parker's parents. You're going to stay with your aunt and uncle for a little while. But he did have the right idea. If you're gonna leave your son in the hands of someone, let it be the father of a warlock. Winning. And they have Gwen Stacy in this one, which means they're going in chronological order this time. I mean, Mary Jane, everyone knows Mary Jane, but she wasn't the first one. Before Mary Jane, there was Gwen Stacy. Everyone forgets the blondes. And then, you know, stuff that you already know. Spider bites him. Pulls like a spider web from the back of his neck. Which is that like a web sack or something? It can't be because there are web shooters in this movie. Which a web sack on the back of your neck though, that would be really helpful. God forbid you ever go to prison. You can drop the soap if you want. You got a web shooter on the back of your neck. Keep you safe. Let him try. And then you get one glimpse of the villain, Dr. Connors, who's gonna be the lizard, and then he's gone. And then after that, the part that everyone's talking about. The 3D Spider-Man action segment, aka the Mirror's Edge trailer. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw this, I was like, that looks just like that one game I never played. Dude, you gotta review Mirror's Edge. What? At first I was like, this looks like a video game. Why are they doing this? If it's not Mirror's Edge, then it's that one first person segment in the movie Doom, which was the best part of that movie, but that doesn't mean they should do it in the Spider-Man movie. Then I remember the movie's in 3D, which means the trailer's in 3D. And when you see this trailer in the movie theater in 3D, it's gonna look really cool. If people don't get vertigo and throw up because of this, it's just never happening. And there is a part of me that's like, oh, that's really cool. So this is how Spider-Man sees the world. That's actually not a bad way to see it. That's awesome. If they do it like once, it'd be all right. If they do it a lot, it'll get annoying. And then the last line comes up. We all have secrets. The ones we keep. And the ones that are kept from us. Between that line and the trailer showing his parents and them cryptically going, oh, there's something we gotta do. Then he finds this old man purse where Uncle Ben, AKA the Warlock's dad's like, I forgot all about that thing. Was your dad? It makes me think that Peter Parker's parents are gonna be a part of the plot. The reason this is interesting is because in the comic books, Peter Parker's parents were tied in with S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, as in like, S.H.I.E.L.D. And since the Avengers movie's coming out in the same summer, I just wonder, are they gonna do something with S.H.I.E.L.D.? Are they gonna mention S.H.I.E.L.D.? Are they gonna mention the Avengers? Are they gonna mention Samuel L. Jackson with an eye patch? I mean, that'd be really cool. I'm not expecting a full blown tie in because Sony's doing Spider Man. They didn't do any of the other like Avengers movie or Avengers movie tie ins or anything like that. But like, a mention would be pretty cool. So in the end, I think Andrew Garfield looks really good as Peter Parker. I think he's gonna make a really good Spider-Man. I like the tone of this movie because the old Spider-Man movies, I, I liked them when they came out, but if you watch Spider-Man 1 now, it's a little campy. It just is. Just the whole thing's really light and really cheesy. I understand Spider-Man's like kind of lighthearted, but I like the tone of the new one. I want to see that. So I put a link to the trailer below. Go check it out. Come back here. Comment below. Let me know what you think. What do you think of Andrew Garfield? How do you think he's going to do as Peter Parker and Spider-Man? Do you want to see the whole shield thing in this movie? If you still don't believe me about the Mirror's Edge thing, here you go. We all have secrets. You can't help but think of it, really. And if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.